right, hello everybody. I'm doing a real quick video. Um, I'm gonna have a long version and a short version, so depending on if you're a detailed person or not, um, quickly showing you how it looks to fly on a plane with a puppy. So whether you are flying to us or whether you are using our puppy nanny service um, and having us fly to you, I'm gonna do a really quick overview. I do have a more detailed version if you are a details person and want to hear exactly how I do it. Um, so I have an eight week old Lakeland Terrier here and an eight week old Welsh Terrier. Um, so I will try to in the next few weeks or the next time, I guess, that I have an eight week old Airedale, give you a little video of that so you can see what they look like. Ave, you wanna come stick them in the bag so they can see the sizes? Yeah. Um, so these, you will first need a soft sided airline carrier. Um, so here's a couple of the ones I recommend. I do have an um, Amazon shopping list where all these specific things are linked. So if you wanna find the exact item. So here's the eight week old Lakeland. So as you can see, like they fit nicely and there is extra room, but it's definitely, you know, not a huge pen. All right, swap them out. He wants out. Um, and he's kind of on the larger side of the Lakeland puppies at eight weeks and she's kind of on the smaller side. So it sort of gives you an example. <laughs> she got the boy stick of, um, because Welsh's and Lakeland's are typically, whoa, sorry lady, about the same size at eight weeks old. So this gives you an example of kind of a larger one and a smaller one. Um, so this is probably my ultimately favorite bag. Um, it does totally collapse flat. So like if you're just flying one way to here to get your puppy and flying home with the puppy, it's nice that it can collapse. All four of these sides unfold like this, which is really nice. Because it gives you lots of room, especially if you know, you're sitting in the airport and you just wanna be able to give them a little more room in the bag. Or let's say you kind of get stranded overnight, it's nice to be able to have the option to unfold that um, and have a little more room. And again, all four sides open. I usually, the way I set it up, I usually put two puppy pee pads in the bottom. I like to put two because then if they poop or pee or puke, you can just kind of roll it up and pull it out and throw it away and there's still another one under there. I always pack some extras in the sides. Um, I like to always stick a bully stick, a Life's Abundance bully stick, which are these right here, and a toy. I like these kind because I'm kind of like what's laid around here. They're little, they don't take up all their space in this crate. They love this little crinkle sound and there's a squeaker too. Um, and then I usually do like a rope bone. Um, I You will need a leash and collar and I have those linked on our page for different sizes. I send every puppy home with a collapsible water bowl and a um, little puppy poop pickup bag. So if you need to pick anything up, there's some bags there. Um, I also recommend putting paper towels or wipes or something in the side in case you need to pick something up. Again, you do have poop pickup bag dispenser with some bags in it to get you started. Um, some people, every puppy gets a little scent blanket that comes home with them. And some people like to stick those in the crate. I just warn you, you know, stick it kind of maybe on the side or something kind of rolled up so that if they would, you know, throw up or something, you wouldn't ruin your little scent blanket right off the bat. Some people like to use towels. This is one of the microfiber towels I recommend. Um, these are two other bags that I recommend. And um, they are linked on our shopping page. This one is a really big one. And it actually has wheels on the bottom. Um, and I have flown with two eight-week-old puppies in this bag. So if you are flying with an Airedale and you're concerned about size, like especially if they're, you know, nine or even 10 weeks, they're getting pretty big at that point, then this might be one you want to consider. Um, but otherwise, these two littler bags work really well for the eight-week-old puppies. Again, it, you know, an Airedale puppy fills this bag, but it does work. Um, some people like to put these snuggle puppies in there. Sometimes I, I linked them on our page. You also can just get the heart that beats. And again, I'm trying to keep this video sh quick for you, but can you pull that out for me, sweetie? Um, if you, Nora, if you stick it in here, it does take up a lot of space. So again, like you either want to tuck it on the side or um, a lot of people like to wrap their scent blanket with it at home. Yeah, it does come with a heat back pat and a pack and a heat beating heart. So some people just stick the heart um, right under there. 
I send every puppy that's flying, as long as I know they're flying with a dose of children's Benadryl. Um, this is recommended by our vet. Everybody has the option if they want to give it or not. Um, our puppy nannies do give it. Just make sure you remove the cap. Some people don't realize there's a cap. This is the correct dosage that I give you. And even a half dose works. So even if you, it makes them sleepy. So even if you, you know, they spit out half or uh, you want to save half just in case or something, that still will be fine. Um, typically, I send every puppy home with one of these bags with full of our paperwork and typically a three pound bag of Life's Abundance dog food. So that is a really big, bulky bag. So um, if you are having one of our puppy nannies come, I'm gonna send you a gift card instead so you can order your own bag and then I'll just send this along just in case of emergencies um, with your puppy nanny. Um, again, I recommend pee pads. You need a leash and collar. And a lot of people really like these. These are just a collar that has a um, pheromone in it for puppies, for dogs, a canine appeasing pheromone, and they say it really helps with anxiety. Um, so those are kind of the bare essentials of what I would recommend if you're setting up a bag. And like I said, I have a longer, more detailed video for you if you kind of want all the details.